welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I'm just gonna be sharing some of my favorite hair care products, tools, you name it. I, I feel like I've gone through such a long journey to get my hair to where it's at right now. I will add some photos of how my hair was literally less than two years ago. So I really do feel like some of these products really are the reason my hair is at where it is right now. And are some of the products that I think that I just, I can't imagine not living without. So I'm really excited to share these products with you guys. So first, I'm gonna show you some of the hair tools that I absolutely love and I feel like has made the most of a difference. And then I'm gonna show you guys like the shampoos, the hair mask, hair oils that I absolutely love. So the first tool that I have, I'm not sure if this is a tool, but it is my hair towel. So this is a hair towel that I use when I get out of the shower. Honestly, it has made such a difference using a, a microfiber towel. Is that what it is? Yeah. Um, it has made such a difference in my hair. I honestly think that if you have curly hair, you need this. Like, just because the way it makes my curly hair feel when I get out of the shower, it's just so much more, it, like, I feel like it doesn't dry it out as much, if that makes sense, and it adds shine. I don't know how to explain it. This is just really good for your hair. Really, if you have any type of hair, you will benefit from using a hair towel. The next tool that I have is, it's not really a tool, but it is my scrunchies. So I use silk scrunchies. I use like the mini ones, and then I have the big ones that I like to use when I go to sleep. I feel like they have done such a difference in my hair. I used to use like those really elastic hair ties that were like very, they would like literally keep my hair tight. Uh, and they, they would work in keeping my hair tight, but they were just so damaging to my hair. Now just like thinking of that makes my head hurt. Okay, so the next thing is my pillowcase. I got this pillowcase. This is the slip, yeah, the slip pillowcases. They are pretty pricey. They're like around 80 bucks, but I got it for on Black Friday. And then before then, I was using just like a regular silk pillowcase that I've got on Amazon. And honestly, it is... I know that this is expensive, the, like the slip pillowcases, but I swear it is, there is a difference. You feel the difference. You feel it on your face, you feel it on your hair. It's just magical and I literally just have one and I am absolutely obsessed with it. On days that I wash this pillowcase and I have to use something else, I get so, I, I like, I'm so uncomfortable. So like I literally never do it anymore. So I always make sure that that is ready to go for me to use that night. <laughs> I know that sounds so picky, but it's true. Okay, so the next thing is my wet brush. Um, this is the wet brush that I've been using and I really like it. Uh, I love that it has a back, like the backs are open, so it really helps dry your hair a lot faster. This is amazing. I actually have a wet brush. Let me just, let me go bring it. Let me just. Okay, so this is a wet brush that I was showing. It broke. And so like the, the thing broke and honestly, I cannot find it anymore. I can't find it anywhere. But basically what I'm trying to say is if you have a wet brush that has like those like open backs, like something like these, they're so good at drying your hair a lot faster and you can even blow dry your hair and then use that brush because it has like the open backs. These are so good on your, these are just so gentle on your hair. Wet brushes are just super gentle on your hair and I highly recommend picking one up. So the next thing that I wanted to talk about is the Mason Pearson brush. I have a full on review on whether or not this is worth it, but obviously it's on this video. So I do really love this brush. Um, a lot, there's a lot of reasons why I love this brush. First of all, it does a really good job at making sure that the oils on my scalp make it all the way to the bottom, which I feel like has played a huge difference in making sure my ends look really healthy. And also, I just like, I honestly, it's just some, one of those things that just makes me feel good. When I use this brush, I truly feel like a princess and it's, I don't know how to explain it. And I've actually heard of stories of people keeping their Mason Pearson brush for like 10, 15 years. So I hope that to keep this for a really long time because it was very expensive. Okay, so now I'm gonna go ahead and jump into hair care products. And I have three favorite, favorite hair care brands. And that one of them is Olaplex. Then the other one is Bumble and Bumble. And then the other one is Moroccan Oil. I feel really confident that if, if you're ever stuck in like, what shampoo did I use? Like what conditioner should I use? Or what hair mask I use? If you get something from Bumble and Bumble, Olaplex, or Moroccan Oil, you'll be good. It's just like, I don't know how to explain it. It's just my favorite brands. I've tried everything. 
and I, I just absolutely love these three brands. Okay, so first I'm gonna talk to you guys about my entire Olaplex system because I have a step-by-step -step routine on how I use this. And first of all, the reasons why I love Olaplex is because it's basically a hair care line that will help restore your hair. If you do a lot of shit to your hair, like you bleach it or you um, use a lot of hair color, or maybe you did that a long time ago and you just want to help repair your hair now, even if you do like keratin masks or treatments like that that are very like invasive, what would I say invasive? I don't know, but like very intense hair care treatments, sometimes those can be damaging, so using Olaplex does help. So first, I'm just gonna show you how I use everything, so literally from start to finish, the whole entire Olaplex system. Okay, so the first product that I use is Olaplex number zero, and I love this stuff. This is basically just water and bisaminopropyl diglocal demolis. I don't even know if I said it right, but I'm just gonna add it here. Basically, this is the ingredient that is patented by Olaplex, and that is the ingredient that helps restore your hair, helps like prevent damage, helps seal split ends, and everything that Olaplex says it does. This is basically just water and that. So you know that she is very strong. So I use this, I use it for like 10 minutes, and then I use Olaplex number three. I leave that in my hair for like at least 30 minutes, and then I do that, and then I use the shampoo and conditioner. I love, I, I absolutely love using the entire system. I feel like it's just a different experience, and it really does make a difference in your hair. Um, this stuff is really small, the, the shampoo and conditioner. I don't know if my camera is good and you guys can see, but if you can notice, I obviously have gone through the conditioner a lot more than the shampoo. Uh, they have done such a difference, and honestly, the shampoo does last like a long time because even when you put just like a little bit of melt on your hair, it lathers so well. Like, I, it's hard to explain, but it lathers so well that it feels like you're putting like a handful of shampoo when you're not. Like, it's just like a little bit. But yeah, I absolutely love it. And I do feel like it has helped strengthen my hair. The next product that I have is the Olaplex Bond Builder. And I just put a pea-sized amount of this on my hair before I blow dry my hair. And it does a really good job in helping keep your hair like frizzless, Frizzless? Is that a word? Okay, so it helps keep my keep my frizz down for at least a couple, the entire week. So I only wash my hair once a week. I put a little bit of this on before I blow dry my hair, and my hair feels really nice and blown out for like a good couple of days or however long I don't wash my hair. Uh, but I really love this, and I do like this one, and I'll sometimes use the It's a 10. I don't have it, I just, I just finished it, but it's a 10 is really good and I, I will just alternate between the it's a 10 hairspray that with the keratin in it I alternate from that one and this one before I blow dry but I've been using this obviously now because I don't have the it's a 10 so now I'm gonna go ahead and show you some of my favorite stuff from Bumble and Bumble I have a lot of Bumble and Bumble I have their curly hair stuff because my hair is naturally curly so if you guys want to watch my like, my curly hair routine I can do that as well for you guys but this, um, the BB curl stuff, amazing. I love it from Bumble and Bumble. But my favorite, favorite stuff that I just can't live or live without is the Bumble and Bumble Invisible Oil stuff. This stuff is amazing. You know that I love hair oil on my hair. And this is their, you know, their conditioning, super dry hair care like products so this is if you have super dry to very dry hair so you will love this hair care like line that they have from Bumble and Bumble this is the invisible oil heat and UV protected primer I love this and I use this as like basically as a heat protectant spray and sometimes I'll just add it to my hair when I feel like my hair needs a little oomph or just like needs a little uh, conditioning because it's such a great spray that will add that condition but it won't like weigh down your hair and I love adding this on my hair before I like use my Dyson Airwrap or I curl my hair really anything it does a really good job and I love it and then the next product that I love from them is the conditioner so again this is an invisible oil conditioner and it is for, for dry to very dry hair and I mean it like this is just so hydrating like it makes my hair feel so soft and it seals everything. 
Um, there's a lot of natural oils in here as well, like almond oil and other really great oils that are good for your hair. I, I just, I can't say more other than I love this conditioner. And if you have really dry or curly hair, you will love this. Okay, so my next favorite hair care brand is Moroccan Oil. I, I love their hair oil. I love their shampoo and conditioners. Pretty much anything you get from Moroccan Oil is chef kiss <laughs> so the first product that i really love from them is the intense hydrating mask Whew, this stuff is so creamy it makes your hair feel so hydrating it's hard to explain oh it even smells amazing i forget it smells so good and it's just all all around a really good hair mask if you have dry hair or you just want to help you know just condition or keep your hair looking nice and you know, silky and happy, you will love this hair mask. I have, again, really dried hair. I used to have really damaged hair. And this honestly was one of those masks that I would always reach to whenever I felt like my hair felt dead, basically. Honestly, it's my favorite hair mask and I really love this one. And number three, I feel like I just ha need to have these two with me at all time. And I love to alternate them, so if you one week you can do your Moroccan oil, the next week you can do your Olaplex, and they're just like, they're really, they're they're my favorite. The next thing is this intense curl cream. Again, my hair is curly, and I really love using this on days that I just want to like hop out of the shower and just leave my hair really natural. I'll just put this in my hair, and it it makes my hair feel really soft and keep my curls looking really good. Um, okay, so now I'm gonna share some of my favorite hair oils, and I love using castor oil. This stuff is amazing. I feel like it does an amazing job at really helping grow out my hair. Um, it's one of my favorite hair oils. It's up there with amla oil and coconut oil. Just so good for your hair. And this one's really great. I love also putting, I bought this little thing off Amazon and I just fill it up with castor oil. And I think this has made such a difference with my eyebrows and my eyelashes as well. So it really does help grow out your eyelashes or eyebrows if you've done over plucking or something, they really do help keep your eyelashes really long and condition your eyebrows and eyelashes as well. But I love castor oil, it's one of my favorite hair oils and I feel like I don't talk about it as much. So I wanted to add that. The next thing is the Gazoo Hair Oil by Negan. This is the Honey Infused Hair Oil. I've been loving this hair oil. I got this for during the holidays and honestly, it's one of my favorite hair oils. I will put this on my hair on my ends, of course, like periodically throughout the week. And I love using it right after I blow dry my hair just to give it my ends some hydration, but I really love this. And I, I also the packaging, look how beautiful that looks. So such a good hair oil. Honestly, this is one of the, a really good gift. So if you're looking at giving your like best friend or you know, like just a gift, to like your girlfriend, maybe a best friend, or someone's birthday that you really care about, honestly giving them this hair oil is like the perfect gift because I've given it out as gifts and people love it. So honestly, this is one of, just, I love that. Okay, so the last product that I absolutely love, it is the By Aram hair oil. This stuff is, this ingredient list, first off, it, there is jojoba oil in it, it has castor oil, amla oil, you name it, like a sweet almond oil. Literally like this is, the ingredient list on here is like mwah, chef kiss, phenomenal, like all of the above. It also smells really, really nice. Like the smell is honestly like my little like ritual before I go to sleep. It smells like eucalyptus. It's so relaxing. It literally smells like, there's obviously essential oils in here, but honestly, it, 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 it doesn't put me to sleep, but it definitely is one of my favorite, relax, most relaxing things that I love to do right before I sleep. And I'll just like massage this in my scalp, put this all over my ends, and then I love to smell it. And I'll, it's hard to explain, but it's just so, so good for your hair. The ingredient list, as I mentioned, I, I, I don't know, I just just read the ingredient list and I that's why I bought it I literally saw the ingredients and I like I bought it I was like okay Aram you you 
you did the thing. Like this is such a great hair oil and I absolutely love it. I've seen such a difference in my hair. I, I just put it on and you can see like my hair just looks super shiny. Um, I love it and I love that I can use these like my favorite hair oils. So I again, as I mentioned, I love coconut oil. I love amla oil. I love sweet almond oil and I love these oils, but I never really have it in my hair all day long really i literally just use those i like to use those oils like right before i hop into the shower but it's good i love that i can now put this in my hair throughout the week whenever i feel like my hair needs a little um a pick me up and my hair is feeling dry but yeah i love these hair care products and i'm so happy i finally got to film this video for you guys this is the day before Valentine's Day, so I hopefully I can post this on Valentine's Day or maybe after. But I just want to tell you guys how much I love you guys and I hope you guys enjoyed this video and have a good rest of your day. Take care.